Hey YouTube, this is DieFlyFish. Just want to show you something. Here is the pyrolytic graphite sheet that I have. A very small piece of it. Um, this is one of the crystal cells that I have completely desiccated. It's been in a desiccant chamber for a number of days and this is just flaky and dry. It's just like powder. So, In essence what I want to show you is the effect of the PGS sheet by itself and again the inferior portion of this electrode is graphite. So the PGS sheet is another sheet of graphite that I'd be placing on top of it. And I'll be measuring voltage. With the PGS sheet, the extraordinarily dry electrolyte, and then I'm going to place a piece of magnesium over the PGS sheet while reading the voltage through the PGS sheet as a secondary electrode with this just being a backing. Okay? <clears throat> so here we go. So the first part of the experiment, I'm going to take the PGS sheet like so and I'm going to place it on top of the electrolyte thusly and I'm going to take the electrode and we're going to register a voltage, okay? So this is normal graphite, the electrolyte, and the PGS graphite. Now if you read the voltage, we're showing a nominal 1 point or 0.4 1 1.4 really nominal voltage reading. If I press pretty firm and get it to about a half a volt, with, I don't want to crush it. Okay, now that's the voltage reading with the PGS sheet with the electrolyte. Now I'm going to place a piece of magnesium over the PGS electrode thusly, and I'm going to hold it down just with this little piece of plastic just to apply a small downforce pressure. And now I'm going to read the voltage in the PGS sheet. Do you see that? The voltage is much higher with the presence of the magnesium. I'm going to change the orientation of this just to show you again. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this hanging over the edge here. I'm going to place this like so. See it's all so dry it's crumbling. So I just blew some of it away. Again I have not hydrated this. I've wanted to start with a purely desiccated system here. Forgive my fumbling, but it's very electric, very uh, delicate electrolyte and I don't want to destroy it. It's now falling off. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to take the magnesium and I'm going to lay it across here. Again, not touching the electrolyte itself. Just going to move this a little bit here, just so you can see a little bit of a crisscross. And again, those two electrodes are not touching the magnesium is not touching the electro the uh, electrolyte itself. And here again, I'm just going to flip this up with this electrode so you can see the voltage. You can see the the voltage is definitely higher with the presence of the magnesium there than with the presence of the magnesium not being there. So if I just press this down here like so much less voltage. I find that fascinating. <clears throat> now, if we do this, if we take a syringe and just hydrate this a bit, just three small little drops, or a little squirt maybe, that's a little more than what I wanted, but oh well. Now we're going to do the same experiment with the PGS electrode and I will press down again with this piece of plastic right where it's moist register the voltage a little bit higher now because we're getting more current from the wet electro electrolyte now we'll add the magnesium into the mix Again, the dry magnesium. There's no moisture between the magnesium and the PGS sheet. I'll hold this down again, the same down pressure, so thereabouts, and register the voltage. Again, you can see a marked difference with the presence of the magnesium as a backing, which I find sort of fascinating. So for what it's worth, this is an interesting effect. It's worthwhile exploring more. And um, 
we'll go from there, but I just thought you might find that interesting. I tried uploading a video last night, but I made a mistake by measuring through the magnesium, which is not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to show the effect of the presence of the magnesium behind this. So, have a great night. Thanks for watching, and more will come later. Thanks. Bye-bye.